every candidate in the history of the world, Democrat, Republican, when they receive huge amounts of money from Wall Street or the drug companies or the fossil fuel industries, what they always say, not going to impact me. <laughs> and our question is, if it's not going to impact their decisions, why would Wall Street be spending $15 million? I don't think that you are qualified if you get $15 million from Wall Street through your super PAC. I don't think you are qualified if you have voted for the disastrous war in Iraq. I have come here to make it as clear as possible as to why I am endorsing Hillary Clinton. And I intend to do everything I can to make certain she will be the next president of the United States. And that was Bernie Sanders and just a brief sampling of the times he has spoken out against Mrs. Clinton, saying that she's unqualified for the job, she's in bed with the big banks. And what does Bernie Sanders do? He backs the candidate who is backed by the big banks. Now, if you do recall, this is the guy who's supposed to be fighting for the rest of us. Bernie isn't a product of uh, politics or privilege or all these other things like these other politicians. No, he's fighting for the little guy, you and me. But it seems now that people are feeling the burn in a completely different way than they did before. And we have this article here by Paul Joseph Watson. These people with Bernie Sanders tattoos must be feeling pretty stupid right about now. <laughs> because you think about Bernie Sanders, the anti-Wall Street candidate, has betrayed his entire support base by endorsing Hillary Clinton, the ultimate Wall Street insider. So all these people who uh, have no regrets, as the guy has on his chest right there. Bernie effing Sanders, of course, the, the little head tattoo of Bernie. And one in particular is the young lady there who is wearing the hoodie. I wanna talk about the comments that she made about Bernie Sanders and why she was feeling the burn earlier this year. And we have the article here, while I'll never regret my Bernie Sanders tattoo. The young lady went on to say, he will go down in history for starting an uprising of Americans, promoting us to stand up and saying enough is enough. Billionaires own our country, political systems, and we want to reclaim our democracy. My tattoo is not only a symbolization of my support for Bernie, but it also serves as a reminder to myself for the years to come. He started something big, a revolution in people's thinking that I am so proud to be a part of. Now, once again, uh, you guys may have heard this when you're growing up by your mom. Well, your mom may have told you not to get a tattoo in general, but they said specifically, don't get a tattoo of a, a team or a band or something that your interest could wane in over time. Of course, the team could change their name, move out of state or any number of other things. But in a similar way, you have to look at your political candidates like this. And as I talk about Bernie Sanders supporters, when I was 17, 18 years old, I probably would have liked Bernie Sanders, too. You know, he's a... In a weird way, he was somewhat of an exciting guy. He captivated many young people, uh, first-time voters, to go out to the polls and get politically involved. So for that, I can understand that aspect of it. But when you take it to the extreme of getting a tattoo of somebody you don't even know, a politician of all things, who will say pretty much anything to get in office, you have to think about this in a little bit of a different way. And for all the people who got your Bernie Sanders tattoos, or even if you didn't get a Bernie Sanders tattoo, but you were feeling the burn a few months, a few months ago, and now you're feeling like that Pepto-Bismol feeling because he's uh, endorsing Mrs. Clinton, I want you guys to remember this. I want you to remember this feeling right now as you think about Bernie Sanders and how you felt when he got up on stage and endorsed Mrs. Clinton. Because so many people said, Bernie's the only guy. He's not with the banks, he's not in all this other stuff. He is the guy for this country, and now he is backing the Democratic Party's candidate, uh, Mrs. Clinton, just because she is in his party. And this is why I don't personally get into partisan politics. I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican. I have libertarian-esque views, but I'm not a pure libertarian because then they say you have to agree with everything on our list. You have to support our candidate no matter what. And I don't do that. I like this policy. I like that policy, but I'm not going to blindly support a party just because I am a, a part of it. And with this, I want to go back to a throwback piece that I shot earlier this year. And this was College Kids Feel the Burn. Now, we went out to the University of Texas and we were talking to the various people out there, asking them, 
who they supported, why they supported him, and the majority of the people we talked to said they liked Bernie, you know, for X, Y, Z reasons that I've already mentioned to you here today. And I'm wondering if they still feel as strongly that he's the guy for them. And this is the thing, I understand when I'm talking to the young Bernie Sanders supporters or young people in general, first time voters, like I said, this, this stuff affected me too. I wanted to believe that everything politicians said were, was true, but now having gone through several election cycles, I understand there's the things that they say to sound good. There's also things that they have an intention to do, but may not be able to follow through on that. For example, let's talk about uh, candidate Obama. A uh, candidate Obama said that he wanted to shut down Guantanamo Bay. Now let's say that he was true and sincere in this statement. You have Guantanamo Bay, a uh, facility filled with uh, heinous criminals. Of course, we've seen the articles of people who don't need to be in there, but I'm just talking about the people who really are a threat. It'd be like if you shut down Arkham Asylum, okay? You, you shut down Arkham Asylum, but you don't want the Joker to run right wild on the street, so you still got to put him somewhere. A similar thing with Guantanamo Bay. What are you going to do if you shut down this facility? You still have to house these people in some other place. And that's what I'm talking about. These campaign promises, all these things that may sound good at the rallies or you uh, see them on the talk shows, you read it in your news reports. It sounds good. It sounds great. But how feasible is this? I did not feasibly see a way Bernie Sanders was going to tackle the big banks. Now, did I want him to tackle the big banks? Yeah. Was I Bernie Sanders supporter? No. But I wanted to believe that this man really had the intention of going after the big banks and busting up the system that has caused so much havoc here in the United States of America. So just keep this in mind. You know, you, you took one, you took one on the chin. Hey, no big deal. You got plenty more election cycles in your life uh, here in the United States of America. So just remember that. And let's go out with this. College kids feel the burn. Hey, how you doing, sir? We're asking people who their favorite presidential candidate is. Uh, Bernie Sanders. Right now? Yes. Probably go with uh, Hillary Clinton or Rubio. Someone Clinton and Rubio. Any particular reasons why? Uh, I want someone more towards the center. Bernie Sanders, for sure, probably. Okay, so you're feeling the burn. Uh, any particular reason? Probably as a student, all of his policies about um, tuition-free college. I don't know if it'll be possible, but it works for me. Who would pay for the free tuition? Hopefully, the rich people of America. <laughs> How's he going to pay for all the free stuff that he's oh. suggesting he's going to give? I think, you know, he's going to try to, like, you know, obviously, you know, uh, use tax money to pay for it. Not Donald Trump. Not Donald Trump. <laughs> There's why, my answer. Why not the Donald? Um, I just think he's, like, not um, as involved in politics as he should be in order to be our president. I feel like he's too business-minded. Uh, Bernie Sanders. Any particular reason? Uh, no, I don't really follow politics, really. I just... Uh, just don't like Donald Trump or uh, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> How you doing, miss? We're asking people who their favorite presidential candidate is. Uh, Hillary. Hillary? Yeah. Any particular reason? Uh, she's a female and everyone else, I just, uh, I don't know. Not that I'm for, I feel out of all the ones that are candidates right now, like she would be the most appropriate, but not ideal. Okay. Is there any particular policy that you like about her? Um. No, I guess just that she's a Democrat. I guess that'd be the only... Well, why not Bernie if she's a Democrat? No, because she's female, so sorry. Right. <laughs> but that's why. Anything in particular with Bernie? Well, I mean, this uh, this clear issue of the the... 1% and the, the ability of the rich to become richer and not necessarily having a better distribution of wealth in the country. I think that is a very good you know, conversation to have. Now, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but my understanding of what you're saying here is that you are supporting uh, Bernie Sanders and his wealth redistribution? No. Well, yes, I am. Yeah. Why do you like Bernie? He just seems like a good guy. You know, he's a socialist, I believe, and uh, I believe in what he stands for. We had a referendum last year, I don't know if you're aware of it, where um, Scotland had the opportunity to break free from the United Kingdom. Yes. Um, and I was very much in favor of that because we wanted a, social, a socialist government. Let me, let me ask you this. Let's say mm -hmm. 20 years from now, you, you have that UT education, you have your big career and whatever, and you're doing good. Would you be okay paying for somebody else's oh, tuition absolutely. at that point? Absolutely. I think it's for the responsibility of the upper class of America to take care of the lower class. Well, there you have it. The majority of the people we've talked to in the short time we've been here at the University of Texas support the Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders. You can find more reports on Infowars.com.